back here. And in the next uh, episode here, we're going to be doing events. We're going to start connecting events to Leaflet. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little emotional. One of my favorite authors just died, uh, Ursula K. Le Guin. Anyway, I was just thinking about that, but i got to do this episode, so um, let's get to it, and I'll shut up about that. Um, <clears throat> so events are just anything to do with the user interaction with the map, and you may be surprised at all the different things you can collect. Um, I mean, if you're not a normal programmer, but if you're a programmer, you will be perfectly familiar with clicks, mouse move, key ups, all that kind of stuff. Of course, some of these don't really apply to the map. For instance, key up, no one's pressing um, keys in the map itself. You put an input if you were having anybody putting information in. But I just put that as an example of an event. And because later, with filters, we're going to connect key ups that happen outside the map with things happening in the map. So ultimately, these events are going to flow between the map and our interface, and we're going to kind of get used to that idea. But in terms of the map itself, there's a few events that might be useful to go over uh, just in a basic way for doing some of the work that you might do for simple maps with clients or uh, for your own projects. So as I said here, the event events, we're going to be talking about ones that come from Leaflet or elsewhere. Uh, in this case, we're going to be talking about the ones that uh, are, happen on the Leaflet map or to markers, and just uh, a couple common things that uh, you might want to do with them. So it's nothing too outlandish. So we're in here, we have our layers that we attach things to. Um, we already have an event happening, and that's our bind pop-up. Um, I believe we have it working. Uh, no, we did not add pop-ups. But that's essentially uh, an event as well, and we could easily add them uh, right in here, or we create our feature group. We could just add a bind pop-up. Hi. And it's not dynamic or anything. So it's not super exciting, but hey, there you go. So that's already an event, which is to say it takes a click event, it does a thing, and then if you click it again, it does another thing. And it also it takes another event where it's clicking somewhere on the map and removing that. Um, so what if we want it to have, when the user mouses over this, that uh, it turns, I don't know, a different color, or maybe the marker changes. I think we can just maybe have it change a different color. Um, it's an SVG, so we might be able to get into the SVG and change the color. Why, why don't we do that? OK, so when we come in here to our uh, map marker, uh, we can see there's a bunch of SVG stuff going on here. Basically, we're, and we're just going to look at the path here. And uh, it's a little complicated. We're not gonna, this isn't a course on SVGs, but it's a little bit useful to just uh, be somewhat familiar with them, since with most advanced maps, um, you're going to be using them, uh, and it's useful. We can actually have a property called fill, and we could change the color. Uh, you can see I was already experimenting on the left there, but let's reload it. You can see I turned them green. Now, by default, they are black here, and I don't know SVGs well enough to know what exactly in here is telling them to be black. That thing is really confusing. Maybe it's here. I don't know. But this is easy enough. We can, we can mess it around. So... Okay, maybe we want it to uh, change the marker when we mouse over it. So let's change this one back to black. Okay, and then we're just going to copy this. And there, again, are probably more elegant ways to do this in terms of uh, dynamically styling. Um, that can also be somewhat difficult with SVGs if you're not used to using them. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking for... There we are. Mark, not marker red. And so this one we will change to red. Okay, that's great. So now uh, we are going to create one here that is a red icon. OK, and it was map marker red.svg. OK, great. Uh, if we want to have a um, marker event uh, where we can mouse over the marker and we have it changed to a different icon, like for the one we just made, we're going to need to attach an event in here. Now, there are probably a couple ways you could do this. Um, and I tried experimenting with both just to see which one I thought was easier and more appropriate. Um, one is to add uh, an event to the actual feature group, the whole layer itself, uh, some kind of mouse move event on the marker, and then trying to access the marker um, through that. It's a little difficult because when these get added, they get added as layers, and you have to reference them properly and make sure you're accessing the right property. So instead I thought we could... Um, 
do something a little bit simpler and actually just add it to the markers themselves. So in order to do that, why don't we actually change this into a loop, which is more how you will actually be adding these in reality. So I would probably make uh, something like this. And then we'd say, oh, I have maybe some coordinates, right? Like a set of coordinates. And that's going to be these three. So here, take these. This is just a much better way to do it. Okay. All right, and then we can write some sim a simple loop, however you would like to do that. All right. Take that. Boom. There we go. And now we just have to give it the coordinates in there. And there we are. And we don't have to call it marker 1. And we can just push it into there. So you see we're just rearranging the data a little. If you need to slow down or go back and look, that is, again, that is fine. But uh, this is the kind of thing you get used to very quickly being a programmer. I just caught that little syntax issue. All right, so let's uh, reload that. Thing should pretty much look the same. Okay, there we go. It's all looking good. Good, no events. And instead, let's add a little event here. So let's say on um, mouse move. Okay, we're going to have a little function with that. And we're just going to be able to um, get right into this. So we're going to say, if this happens, then uh, let's see what kind of information we get from it. All right, so if we mouse over it. There's some stuff happening. Here we got lat long, target. Uh, target looks like something might be useful. Um, so we will say e.target.set icon, and we'll try setting the red icon there. Okay. Let's see how that works. Oh, look at that. So, works right there. Now, like I said, we could also do that with the whole feature group. And it's not that hard. Um, you just do a very similar thing to this. You just have to, same thing, look at the um, event and run it. So why don't we just take this code? We're just going to lift that right there. We're going to add it right on this. So we're doing exactly the same thing. Um, just adding this and see if it just works right off the bat. So it doesn't work right off the bat. Why not? Target does that icon. Ah, it's because we actually have a different set of properties coming back when we are on a feature group. It's not over one marker, it's over the whole feature group. So when we see it, it'll make more sense, because you can imagine that uh, when we look here, we have like a lot more information. There's layers and there's target. There is target, which is kind of in in interesting, but it's not a function apparently. Let's try seeing if the layer is just for the sake of trying here. So there we go. We did get it working. Uh, with the mouse move here. So that's not bad, but let's move it back to the markers just because, like I said, I think it's a little easier to conceptualize, and for this level, we don't really need to make it much more complicated. So there we go. Okay, and uh, maybe we also want it that when they uh, mouse off of this, so we would say mouse uh, leave, not mouse out, mouse out, I can't, yeah. we would say mouse out. Um, then we'll set it back to the black icon. Okay. Great. So there we go. It's looking good. So that's a nice little simple thing. We might also want it to jump. Now there might be a little uh, thing already to do that. And we could, you know, look through our leaflet documentation again. I should never be going off of my leaflet this page here. Down here we can go to marker and see the various information we can give through set icon and other things. Okay, so those are all very nice. Now let's do a little bit of map uh, stuff from the map itself. So uh, maybe what I want it to do, you can see it kind of jumps around a little. Some weird jumping. May have to deal with that in a bug or something like that. Um, maybe what I want it to do is as my mouse gets closer, I may want to have an event that, that does something here.